Mr. Willis sets his pupils a math test. He wants to convert all their marks to a percentage. The highest possible score is 80. Use this fact to draw a conversion graph to change the marks to percentages. Use the graph to change the marks for percentages for Joanna, who scored 48 marks, and George, who scored 22 marks. So, first of all, we need to make a table from what we know. This is what we know. We know the math score of 0, 80, and with 0, you get 0%, and with 80, it's going to be 100%. The next step is to draw the graph. So, on the vertical axis here, you want to put the percentage. And on the horizontal axis here, we want to put the pupil scores. We need a number from 0 to 80 here, 0 to 100 here, making sure that we label our axes. Very lot of emphasis on that. Okay, so here's the table again. So we're going to need to plot 0, 0, which is there, and the point 80. Eighty, one hundred, which is there. Take our ruler and join these two points up very carefully with a straight line. Right, we now need to use the graph. So, for Joanna who scored forty-eight marks. So, how do we show that how we got the answer? So, first of all, we find along here forty-eight which is that point there, we realise that each, each one little square here is going to be worth two, two marks. We draw a line upwards, a dotted line upwards to the graph, okay, and then read along horizontally off the graph and we get 60%. This needs to be shown, this bit here needs to be shown on your graph, so you need to annotate your graph to show how you got your answer. The line should be dotted. George scores 22 marks, so same sort of idea. We find 22, which is there. Draw a line upward and draw a line across and we get 28%. Because this is a graph, we were not, not going to get so accurate results rather uh, we would not get accurate results instead of doing the actual calculation. The actual calculation would give a more accurate result. However, this is how conversion graphs are used.